All right, so we are at 2,170 miles and I got a couple updates. So number one is, I don't know what it is with Houston weather, but in Houston, it can be raining one moment, storming the next, beautiful day the next after that, then it's a, a tornado watch, followed by a flood watch, followed by a stupid humidity, and through all that, first of all, my, my <laughs> the inside of my car is like dirty, because the outside is always like either muddy or, or you know, excess dirt or it's dry whatever it is like it's been a lot of different weather in this basically 2,000 miles but also basically this month that I've had this car and I have to say it's been raining hard it's been sprinkling I have to say that I feel extremely secure with this vehicle so I haven't had another car you know that's not honestly new but i haven't had another car that i've driven that i felt so safe as far as you know i can drive this thing i can maneuver with this thing i can slow down i can speed up i can see fine like the windshield wipers on this top notch you know it's little things like that you're like oh wow this is this is nice and so with that being said it is 5 a.m. and we are going to the gym like we do every day. And I kind of want to talk about like, is it worth it? Like, I don't, you know, is it is it worth getting this vehicle? And I don't mean the car itself. The car itself is amazing. Like, I love this car. <laughs> like, every time I get in it, I'm excited. I like driving it. Um, I've gotten a lot better at everything about the car as far as what it can do what it does all the little tips and tricks all that mumbo jumbo and so in that regard i really 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 enjoy this car and it's hilarious right like when you're in the nissan Sentra that i previously had nobody wanted to ride you know but all of a sudden i got people flying down chauffeuring them around but that all makes sense right like why would anybody want to ride a old ass car i mean i'm not i'm not upset about it i just think it's funny uh and it makes sense but with the first month being up you start to think okay well i gotta pay this thing <laughs> and so personally personally my plan was always to pay for a car in cash my plan was always to not have a loan because I just, I don't like being in debt to things. And that is why I drove the Nissan Sentra for so long. It was a fine car, it still works. And I really, tire pressure, that's the one thing about this. I think my tires messed up because this is the third time I gotta put air in it. Uh, so like, is it worth it to take out a car loan? Oh my God, two? How is it just not telling me? This thing is flat, flat. What the hell? And there's boxes on the ground. What is going on? So as of now, I will say it's not worth it because I got freaking no tire pressure. That's nuts. Besides the point, there's a there's an airplane right here. Aside that, <laughs> um, you know, I would say I I am happy with the car, but I'm not happy with how I bought it. Like, even when I got it from the dealership, I was like, you know, this isn't a good idea financially speaking, because it's it's not with my plan, right? Like, obviously, everybody has their own way of doing things. Everybody hopefully is an adult and and thinks about how they do it but for me like this kind of stuff i've for I, forever i mean i've never had a car i'm 33 years old i've never had a car note and so you know 
my other car was having problems and I was like, you know what? I was like, oh, I'm 33 years old. It's time to get a new car, which I do think it was true. And I, do, I don't think I, it's the wrong decision, but I really think it would have been better had I just waited to buy a car cash, even if it wasn't this one, even if I had to wait longer. Because what happens, and, and honestly, the good thing is that because I drove the Nissan Sentra for so long, because I haven't had a car note, because I've focused on, you know, saving up money for not just the vehicle, but other stuff, um, you know, there, there's a little money in the bank, but there's no way it's worth depleting the majority of it when you know it's just gonna go to the car so it's like it puts me in a bad place for a couple months because all my energy <laughs> all my focus as far as like financially i'm just trying to pay this thing off as fast as possible and i <laughs> i think you know i think it'll take me like i don't know three to four months max if i re try really really hard again you know there, there was money saved up for this so it's really just making the difference and i after you know after experiencing the car and it's like could i have waited two three months so that i wouldn't have to basically put my financial situation on hold because I really, really, really want to pay this car off. Yeah, I could have done that. And do I have to pay it off? Like, no. So what if you pay a little bit of interest, right? But personally, for me, I look at it and I'm like, damn, all right. That's the last time I'm doing that. But hey, I feel like you got to do it at least once, right? Um, you live and you learn. And it's still just a car. Like, it's still just going to... It's just going to take you from point A to point B. I cannot believe this thing is this flat. And so, with that being said, that is bonkers. And I'm, I'm still gonna drive it because I gotta hit the gym, cousin. PSI Pressure 28 PSI. Well, this thing's gonna deflate in like an hour. Give it one more go.
and what really sucks about this is that I have to drive somewhere fairly important today so I'll have to I have to figure this thing out today and my tire guy is right next to my office or my mechanic guy but I'm not going to the mechanic today because of this drive I have to do and so back to the topic yeah so anyways in in hindsight I, I should have waited I'm enjoying the crap out of the car as it is I don't I don't know I don't know if it's actually a big deal if I'm making a bigger deal of it but like in an ideal world I would have waited two three more months and just bought it cash or whatever even if I didn't find this car even if it was you know Subaru 2023 even if it was a uh, different even a nah I probably wouldn't get it I would wait to get this car or if I bought it used or whatever like to me I'm not that big of a car guy to be like oh I gotta have the the newest version I wouldn't have cared let's go ahead and hit this hole real quick even though we're on a even though we're at damn it's already at 29 that's not good man um here's that box so yeah we are losing air fast that's kind of scary my gym's about 15 minutes away and there is gas stations in between them but not in between here and the that was stupid, I shouldn't have done. And between here and the, um, between here and the, uh, between here and the gym, it's just, you know, highway. So that's the only part that's a little concerning. But we'll monitor. If I see it drop too fast, I'm just gonna turn around and cry because I wanna hit the, gotta get my back session in. And I gotta leave before like, eight so probably most places aren't even gonna be open till like probably eight or nine the question is do I take this thing to any tired place I don't even know and another thing I guess I want to complain about still like my number one complaint has been the Apple CarPlay just the fact that it's wired and hopefully it's just my wire but it keeps disconnecting like if I'm driving and I'll hit a bump, you know, that causes the car to go up, it'll disconnect. So I'm hoping that's the wire because if not, this thing is way too sensitive and you know, what the hell. Secondly, the, yeah, this thing is dropping already, son of a. The other thing is um, sometimes I'll connect it and it won't even, it won't even, connect it'll be like unable to connect to apple carplay uh please try again and it's like what the hell am i supposed to do so i'm really hoping it's the it's the connection and not the i'm sorry it's the cable and not the actual like device because that would suck and so yeah that is today's video but i'm gonna go ahead and keep recording so that we can see if I make it or not. And so I guess this isn't a night drive. This is like a, I don't know, dawn drive? Is that what, I guess in Spanish you say madrugada? But I think that's dawn in English. What's hilarious is I speak more English than Spanish. I just, I can't think of the word. <clears throat> Man, I can't believe my tire's flat. So yeah, that is the third time I've I've uh, I've had to put air. Oh my god, I need to move over. Hello. Alright, we're still at 28. This is good. Oh I fucking missed it. God damn it. Let's 
excuse me, Jesus. Assholes. On the note of the Apple CarPlay, someone did mention that there is a device that is a Bluetooth adapter, so you can connect it to to the slot where the Apple CarPlay uh, USB goes, or you know, any USB down here uh, under the infotainment, and it'll you know it's like a signal catcher thing bluetooth wise so that you can apple carplay with bluetooth and i think that is fantastic until i saw that it's not that small of a device it's like i don't think it'll actually fit under there so i'd have to a you know test to see if it works uh and b it's they're like a hundred bucks so it's not like a easy like you know like you some things you buy and you're like okay whatever it was six bucks like if it doesn't work it doesn't work or like the the tire thing is like okay three bucks like it's annoying but you know, it's just three bucks to have air in my tire i think that's worth it this would be like oh let me spend a hundred dollars to see if it works or not uh and i'm sure you can return it but nobody really likes dealing with that kind of stuff in my opinion uh all right we're still at 28 but you know is that true <laughs> Because what I've noticed with the tire pressure gauge is that it does take some time, especially when you turn on the car, you have to wait for a little bit. Like you actually, I feel like you have to drive or sometimes I feel like if you change this, it'll actually update. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh yeah, look at all these little rocks under the car. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just mess it up. Also, my lip on the left, I don't know if it's called a lip. It's like the side skirt, I guess, underneath the passenger i'm sorry the driver's uh side like the doors under the doors of the driver's side the little side skirt that's attached to the car it's kind of like loose and i'm not sure what i did you know i don't have it intentionally you know, hit anything or whatever but it feels a bit loose i'm sure it can snap back on but like that's just another thing that i've noticed is happening with this vehicle uh and so it's also a little bit annoying. Oh, I got insurance. That was cool. I haven't had it, I haven't had to pay for like. So the gas station over here to my right. So that's gonna be my if this tire keeps going way too down, I am just going to pump again. And I need to get this fixed. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna take it. I guess I'll take it to any discount tire they're pretty good i don't know if they'll work on my car because i don't have discount tire tires uh so i'll look that up and if not i'll just find a very reputable tire place online and take it there because i would like to if not a complete fix at least a band-aid fix for now and you know anytime i have an actual like a like a problem where I have to Google something. That's kind of my favorite part. Not that I have a problem, but I, that's what I do for a living. I set up Google ads, Google profiles, websites, search engine optimization, things of that nature. So that when people have a problem and they're looking for a business with a solution, the connection is made. And so that's what I literally do for a living. And anytime I have a real problem, it's like, okay, now I can experience this process as an actual customer. Cause I experience it a lot, but it's like me knowing that I'm trying to find either good or bad things about it. And so when it's an actual problem, you can feel the real urgency. Like I need to find a tire shop and I'm having, for instance, let's say I can't find uh, something reputable something with validation. If I keep pulling up what, uh, Google profiles with, you know, 15, 20 reviews, it's like, okay, well, you know, there's nothing really different about them. If I go to their websites and they're all old, it's like, okay, well, you know, this doesn't really tell me if it's reputable or not. If I pull up a website that looks really nice, that has a bunch of nice pictures uh, with a hundred plus reviews and you can schedule an appointment online and you can take payment online and you can call for a free consultation and they have a page that talks about, is your tire losing brakes, uh, air too fast? 
here's usually what the problem is come on in give us a call or or just show up whatever if it's something like that and it's nearby it's like oh, okay easy win so that is my that is that is what i do but it looks like i made it in one piece and we're still at 28 so we'll take that you know and i drove my car last night and it was fine so between last night like 7 p.m and tonight or this morning 5 30 you know in less than 12 hours it lost all its air so that is not good that is not good at all buddy so all right we're at the gym about to crush some some back pool pool uh what do you call it pool workout and uh see what the tire pressure is hopefully it's no biggie oh god so sorry lady Tell me. and we are here all right thanks for tuning in peace